And we're back with more Batman, where in the last episode we took on the Streets of Desolation, so now we're in the uh, Axis Chemical Factory, or the Chemical Plant, and in this part of the movie, this is where uh, Batman first confronted Jack Napier, and then ended up throwing him into the chemicals, and that's how he became the Joker. So, uh, this section really isn't too tough, I mean, you have a lot of tricky jumps and some narrow platforms. But then again, there are also some pretty awkwardly placed enemies, so that's where the uh, batarangs come in. And for the most part, I'm going to be using the batarangs against these smaller enemies, just because, uh... Just like uh, Circle of the Moon, if you get the uh, distance right, you can actually do more damage with the batarangs than with the other weapons. And it's just an easy way to pick off those enemies. You know, just to make sure they don't cause too much trouble. And there are some sections where you can't farm for power-ups. I mean, uh, hopefully I won't have to, but we'll see. And see, uh... Yeah, really it's just, uh... Dealing with some other stuff like this, and then... We also get one of our first instances of the, uh, proximity mines. That just, uh, go toward you. And either way, uh... What we're trying to do here is just, uh... I mean, of course, charging enemies, that's always fun. But either way, um, one thing I do like about this stage's design, besides the awesome music, is uh, you also get a lot of creative ways to get past the stage, which is one thing I always enjoy about games. And then, of course, this is where we have to uh, be careful about our jumps, unless we end up hitting our head on the electricity. Let's see, uh... And also, those needle things are kind of a lot like Mega Man games where... Or they just go faster when you're on the screen, kind of like those stupid floor enemies in the first game. And I do like how this game kind of does, or this stage in particular, does test your uh, wall jumping. And then that is a skill that we are going to have to get good at as the game goes on because... Of course, since this is an NES game, the jumps are going to get trickier as the... Uh, or as we proceed. But either way, there's a lot of hazards here, and it's really, it's just worrying about electricity that's uh, gonna be an issue. And of course, getting hit by enemies, there's that too. But I am glad I'm getting back into recording, just cause, uh, you know, it's just uh, school starting, and then lots of orientation stuff to do this week. Okay, yeah, I was just trying to bait him there. But at least uh, the enemies are subjected to the same treatment we are, so... I mean, at least that's something we got going for us. I think the only other game that I can remember doing that is Mega Man X8, where enemies also die to spikes. But either way, uh, this is what I was talking about, where you can farm for uh, power-ups. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get uh, three there so they won't uh, drop anymore. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, as long as you have, like, three of those things on the screen, the, uh, or that thing dropping the drones won't, uh, drop anymore. Which is just one of those little things that's, uh, worth knowing as you're playing this. So, either way, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna get rid of this one. And the tricky thing about those drone things is that they can be real ammo eaters if you, uh, aren't careful. And I think that's uh, one thing that's actually pretty underrated about this game, is just how to manage your ammo. I mean, granted, you could always get more back, but it's not always, uh, exact. Let's just get out of here. And this is where it gets kind of tricky, just because it's kind of easy to uh, go the wrong way and then end up uh, having to loop back. And, of course, that's always fun, whenever you get lost in an NES game. Okay, why can't I hit you? Alright, well that didn't go very well, but at least we, uh, ended up getting out of there with at least some health. So either way, uh, we should be at the boss now. Yep, there he is. Uh, this is gonna be a three-phase battle, and the first phase I'm just gonna... ...avoid these shots and then just hit it from long range with a missile. And then, yeah, that's, uh... We're gonna do a, a slow and steady pace on this guy, and... 
I think that's gonna be the easy way to go about doing this. Just cause uh, some health regenerates between stages but not all of it, so that's uh, also something important to remember. And for the second phase all I'm doing is just uh, avoiding the shots and then just shooting batterings at it. Yeah, see, it's really that one on the uh, far right I want to avoid. So what we gotta do here is that we can actually get between the shots and then just punch the hell out of it. And then that's the end of that machine. And then just a little cutscene with the Joker and Bruce Wayne. But I'm gonna go ahead and call it here, so join me next time as we take on the sewers. I'll see you then.